Is it high school cheating? Make no cards to study lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. one of you to Shabbat Saturday. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful to be back on the air. We had a little amen, a little time away because of elation honors, an awesome event. The Lord truly blessed, and we are so grateful to be back now. I want you all to know that this is Pastor Dawn of Shabbat Saturday, and we do not take it for granted every time the Lord graces us to come before his people. There is a word for you today. It is going to bless you. And this word in particular is for the watchmen. It's for the intercessors. Amen. It's for the wailing women. It is for the mourners. So I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, hallelujah. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. 
And I want you to know, again, this is the woman of God, your host, Pastor Dawn, hallelujah, where we just want to release a Shabbat on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Decree a Shabbat for your release from those things that have tried to my God, oppress you this week, release from that low place in the name of Jesus, release from the hold of the enemy. Come on now, release in the name of Jesus. You know, there is a, a sound mm, that is released every time we shabbat the Lord. There is a shift that occurs every time we release. Amen. There is an alignment that occurs. Amen. An alignment to your purpose, an alignment to the plan of God for your life. Glory to God. And I have come today to encourage the watchmen. Amen. Those who are listening under the sound of my voice. Amen. Those who are listening by way of iHeart, Spricker, Elation Radio. Amen. I have come to encourage the watchmen in the name of Jesus. And we're going to Shabbat the Lord today, amen, address him in a loud tone, give the enemy notice, amen, that he cannot close your mouth in the name of Jesus. So again, I'm very excited to be here on this afternoon. There is a word from heaven for the watchman today in Jesus' name. And I believe the Lord is specifically Specifically, I should say, speaking to the watchmen. He is speaking to those he are raising up, the intercessors that have been asleep, the prayer warriors that have been beaten down, and the wailing women, amen, that have been sat upon, the mourning women. He is calling you to come forth, amen. You see, the word of God says that he wants and needs your voices right now. In the name of Jesus, he wants you to be vigilant. He wants you to be steadfast. He wants you to be at your post in this hour in the name of Jesus. There is so much that I am to release during this hour. Glory to God. And I pray that you have your seats buckled, that you are ready to receive what the Spirit of the Lord is saying in this hour to his church in the name of Jesus. In the book of Mark, chapter 14, verse 38, it reads, Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. And today, mainly in particular, I'm speaking to those who have been called to be watchmen, those who are leaders, hallelujah, to the intercessors, my God, today, that are losing hearts and becoming weary in well-doing, hallelujah, but you cannot give in. Don't you dare, don't you dare lose heart in the name of Jesus. God is raising up a remnant of people, hallelujah, that are hearing and speaking as oracles of God. And, you know, I'm inclined now, thank you, Holy Spirit, to pray, hallelujah, over the airways, hallelujah, spirit of the living God. Let this word go forth and not be interrupted. I curse the assignment of the enemy, amen, and every spirit opposing the release of the word in this hour. And I thank you, Lord God, for covering this broadcast with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Just recently, um, I heard a man, a great man of God, say that their ears are at the mouth of God. He was referring to the watchmen, amen, those who are operating in the spirit of God and not in the opinion of men in the name of Jesus. So I have come here today to decree and declare and announce, come forth and cry aloud and spare not, Hallelujah. According to Ezekiel 33, 1 to 33, 1, 1 through 30, 33, verses 1 to 33, it reads, Son of man, speak to your people and say to them, If I bring the sword upon a land, and the people of the land take a man from among them and make him their watchman, and if he sees the sword coming upon the land and blows the trumpet and warns the people, Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. 
Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. Of late, I have heard, amen, that there has been this preponderance of evidence that the watchmen are not being heeded to, amen, that the watchmen are being sat upon in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that the watchmen, hallelujah, are being shunned in the name of Jesus. But Isaiah 62, 6 says, on your walls, I have set watchmen all the day, all the night, they shall never be silent. You who put the Lord in remembrance, take no rest. Watchmen, I speak to you now. Take your stand at your watch post and station yourself on the tower and look out to see what he, the Spirit of the Lord, would say to you and what you will answer concerning his complaint. The Lord says to you this day, set up a standard against the walls of Babylon. The walls of Babylon represent the sinful nature of man. Amen. And he says, make the watch strong. Set up watchmen. Prepare the ambushes, for the Lord has both planned and done what he spoke concerning the inhabitants of Babylon. America, heed the word of the Lord, my God, today. Heed the word of the prophets that are being raised up in the name of Yeshua. The word of God says, if we pray to our God and set a guard as a protection against them day and night, hallelujah, when the watchman sees the riders, when the watchman sees the horsemen in pairs, hallelujah, he is given hallelujah, a, a, war, a, a command to cry out upon his watch, hallelujah, upon a watchtower I stand, O Lord, continually by day, and at my post I am stationed whole night, and I will cry aloud and spare not. I want to shabbat the Lord today, because there is an expectation, hallelujah, can you not sense it, that the Spirit of the Lord is moving upon his remnant, that he is raising up, that will cry aloud and spare not. He's raising up his watchmen that will speak what thus saith the Lord in the name of Jesus. So expect a great move of God in our lives during this season, men of God, as they begin to decree and declare the mighty acts of our Father God. They are called to blow the trumpet. Mm. Hear me today. They are called to blow the trumpet of Almighty God. Hallelujah. They are called to cry aloud and spare not in the name of Jesus. You know, there is a great word that is being spread across this country, and it's called, hallelujah, repentance revival. On the other night, Twice I witnessed, hallelujah, the Spirit of God moving in such a profound way that I began to hear leaders, hallelujah, apostles and pastors, oh my God, today, bishops begin to repent openly, publicly, hallelujah, of their slothfulness, of their doubting God, of their not moving when he told them to move, of them not speaking and declaring what thus said the Lord when he gave them a word for his people. Oh, my God, today, people, listen, we are in such an hour that it is, in, it is absolutely imperative that you obey the voice of God. And not be slow-footed, not be, my God, jelly not be listening to the opinions of men and not moving in the spirit of God, the authentic, hallelujah, being transparent, being hallelujah, what God has called you to be. If you are a man and woman of God in this hour, if you are an apostle, if you are a prophet, if you are a pastor, if you are a teacher, if you are an evangelist, then certainly you yourself know that the Spirit of God is speaking very loudly and clearly in this in this season, in this hour, that it is time for you to make a stand. 
I sense the Spirit of God is raising you up, is raising up watchmen, intercessors, prayer warriors, and the wailing women, the mourning women, in the name of Jesus. And I again tell you, I call to you, I decree and declare and announce to you, come forth, cry aloud, and spare not in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Take no rest. Hallelujah. We don't have that kind of time, people. Hear what I'm saying today. Yes, it's a strong word. It is a tight word, but it is a right now word for those who are listening under the sound of my voice. I myself cannot patty cake this. I can't sugarcoat it, my God, or your blood will be upon my hand, my God, today. The Lord does not want his people to long, no longer be in bondage to this false prophet that's running amok, amen, and wounding so many of God's people. Enough of that in the name of Jesus. He wants you to walk in liberty of his spirit in the name of Jesus. He wants you to walk in the fullness of the Godhead in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I am just so full right now. You must hear me. I am so full right now because this has been so heavy in my spirit. Amen. Please understand, God is calling you to come forth. He's calling you to a high place in him. He is getting ready to come back, people. And he wants you to be free. He wants you to walk in liberty, not in bondage, in the name of Jesus. He doesn't want you to walk in this slothful spirit, this spirit that wants to be complacent, this spirit that wants to operate in disobedience, this spirit that is concerned about, hallelujah, what man is going to say. Oh, Lord, hear me today. Hear me today, people. The spirit of living God is saying, arise, get up. Hallelujah. Stand up. Hallelujah. I am calling you to go forth. I am calling you to cry out and fear not. My God today. My God today. Arise. Arise. You can no longer be asleep. You can no longer be asleep, people of God. You can no longer be asleep. You can no longer be, what, in silence, my God, today. But you have to answer the call. You have to answer the assignment, amen. You have to answer the call of God. You have to be that voice, hallelujah, and eradicate, amen, every assignment of darkness that is trying to come against the people of God today. What am I trying to say here today? Even right now, I'm battling with some noise that's on the call. Amen. But know this. If you can hear me, hallelujah, know that God is for you and that he has sent you help in the name of Jesus. And he's releasing an angelic arsenal to walk with you during this hour. Know that God is for you. Know that he is sending you help. Know that if you feel the now, if you feel that no one is listening to you, know that God has heard you and that he is sending you the help that you need, watchmen. You are not alone in the name of Jesus. All I can say is this, that the Spirit of God is calling his watchmen. He's calling you to be the, his mouthpiece in this hour. He wants you to take your stand at your watch post in El Kondarabasia. Take your stand at your watch post in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Habakkuk 2, 1 through 20, I will take my stand at my watch post and station myself on the tower and look out to see what he will say to me. The Spirit of God is saying to you, watchmen, intercessors, take your positions now. Do not allow the enemy to discourage you. Do not allow him to hinder you. Do not allow him to put you in a place of complacency. 
Do not allow him to sit on you, to shut your mouth, but open your mouth, cry aloud, and spare not. For the Spirit of the Lord is with you. His anointing is with you. Ha, oh, my God, his word is with you. And whatever you hear the Spirit of God say, hallelujah, you say that to the people of God with no, no amount of hesitancy in the name of Jesus. But you stand at your post, stand at your station, hallelujah, and speak what thus said the Lord in the name of Jesus. Make your watch strong, men of God, women of God, hallelujah. And let him say to you in the end, well done, my good and faithful servant, in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Abba, Father, I thank you for this broadcast. I thank you for the word that has been released this day to your people in the name of Yeshua. And I thank you, Lord God, for the word that they will hear later on the rebroadcast that they may experience, my God, the profound seriousness of this hour and of this word. And I pray, Lord God, that that word will manifest, hallelujah, within them and take root in the name of Jesus. Let it overflow and spill over into their life and nature of God within them in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I thank you, hallelujah, for your soon coming. I thank you, Lord God, that your shepherds, your leaders, hallelujah, that you've given a commission to watch over the sheep, that you instruct them, Lord God, that they will hear the Spirit of God. According to Hebrews, Hebrews 13, 17, hallelujah, your leaders said they will submit to you, Father God, and keep watch over the souls of those that you have placed into their care. I thank you, Father God, hallelujah that we are your watchmen, and we take full responsibility to speak what thus said the Lord, not what is, what is popular or soothing to itchy ears. Lord, your word says, if I say to the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked to turn from his way, what wicked person shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will be required at our hands? Oh, God, let us be your gatekeepers, hallelujah, that your sheep will hear your voice and not ours, and that our voice will be yours and not just an echo, my God, today, hallelujah, but that our posture during this season, Father God, will be that we will pray at all times in the spirit. We will watch with all prayers and supplication, hallelujah to keep to the end, to be alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints in the name of Yeshua, that we will be your watchmen, hallelujah, and announce what we see according to your word in the name of Jesus. And whatever we hear, Lord God, from your mouth, we will decree and declare and give warning to your people. Lord, let not our sound be polluted or tainted in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let it not be like a foiler's snare to your people, Lord God. Oh, Father, let it not be a word that's spoken in your word that says, with dead flies that make the perfumer's ointment give a stench. Oh, my God, today, but let it be an honorable word that's filled with your glory and your power and your anointing. Lord God, let our, your watchmen not be blind or without knowledge, Lord God, or be silent dogs, oh my God, today that cannot bark, lying down and loving to slumber according to your word. But let us stand at our watch post, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, let us stand at our watch post, revealing your secrets to your people. Let us be your watchmen, Lord God, that pay attention to the sound of the trumpet. Let us not be slothful, O God, in the name of Yeshua. Listen, you that are watchmen. The Spirit of God says, again, if a righteous person turns from his righteousness and commits injustice, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die because you have not warned him. 
he shall die for his sin. And his righteous deeds that he has done shall not be remembered, but his blood I will require at your hand. I believe the word is testifying, hallelujah, to you this day, that we are not innocent. If we do not cry aloud and spare not, the blood of those who are innocent will be upon our hand. So the word does tell us, cry aloud. Do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their transgression. Oh, my God. Watchmen, don't be blinded by the noise and the distraction. I mean the destruction and the distraction. Yes, Holy Ghost. Do not be like the silent dogs in the name of Jesus. But stay awake, praying. I pray that you may have strength to escape all those things that are coming this, during this hour. And stand before the Son of Man. Oh, my God, today. Watchmen, you must speak to this malaise in the body of Christ. Speak to those who feel comfortable and justified in their sin. Oh, my God. Ministers of divine wrath against unapologetic sinners. Woe unto you, you tormentors. You are operating as an agent of Satan, not a messenger of God. But the word of God is saying, beware, beware. You that are operating in disobedience and not heeding the voice of God in this hour. Let me stress this, people of God, and those who are listening. The prince, hallelujah, Satan, the prince of of the air, the prince of this world, he is sending an agent to arrest, hallelujah, you and an executioner to, to finish your destruction. The devil's attacks and his exploits, hallelujah, will come if you have unconfessed sin, especially sin related to idolatry. And that idolatry is your honoring the voice of man. Oh, my God, today. Or if you're operating in witchcraft and it remains unresolved, the enemy has legal right to oppress you. So you must exercise the authority that God has given you to ensure that you are no longer affected Mm. to deliver you to release you out of the grips of the enemy it is available to you now watchmen spiritual leaders intercessors the spirit of the God is saying I know you better than the one trying to tempt you, the one that is attacking you, the one that is discouraging you. I have made a way of escape for you through the finished work of the cross. But you must exercise your authority in binding and loosening. Hallelujah. For I have stirred this work in you. I have called you. I have appointed you. I have chosen you. And I am the author and finisher of your faith. And I who called you will also do it through you as I have done it with others. What the enemy meant for harm in having you be quiet and silent and in this malaise and then this complacency. I hear the spirit of the God saying that he is going to turn it around and use you, use your voice. For his glory, to see, to bring forth, to manifest, amen, his glory in this hour. Just as he spoke to Moses about taking the Israelites out of Egypt to the promised land. Mm. Just as he mentioned the Red Sea and, and parted them and hallelujah made a way of escape for them out of Pharaoh's hand. As he was chasing them, he did something miraculous and marvelous. Amen. He demonstrated his excellency and his majesty and his power of who he is. But he needed a voice. You are that voice, people of God. And today, I am saying, arise. 
Cry aloud and spare not. Get into position right now. Get into right standing with the Father. Amen. And he will deliver his people from every situation because he has placed his anointing upon you to be that mouthpiece. Hallelujah. And you will declare and decree what thus saith the Lord in the name of Jesus. And you will demonstrate his power and release his glory in everywhere that you are. He will be present. And you will demonstrate the rod of his authority in your hand, my God, today, as he places his sword of his spirit in your mouth. Hallelujah. Exercise that authority in the name of Yeshua. Demonstrate the kingdom of God in the name of Yeshua. Be that, hallelujah, that, that, that vehicle that he needs to use in this hour for his people. Raise your rod of authority and watch the sea part. Amen. The plans of the enemy will be demolished because you will be the voice that will help the people cross over into new dimensions. You will be the voice, hallelujah, that will help them in this hour that they may see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Get in position, watchmen. Get into position, intercessors get into position mourning women wailing women in the name of yeshua these things i ask in jesus name get into position and as i close my prayer for you is that you will heed hallelujah the word of the spirit of the lord that has been released in this hour and now I turn it over to our producer, Kimmy Kim. Shalom, everyone, and God bless you. I'm 